time after time after time you're failing the most vulnerable people in this society and particularly our children and I honestly question whether or not you're fit for purpose. Um, I have to say, I honestly, I didn't think it would be possible to be angrier than when I watched that programme, but I have to say, I find it extremely difficult to be sitting in this meeting. I don't feel like anybody really understands the seriousness of this, and very little mention of children, very little mention of the responsibility that both of your organisations actually have to those kids. I'm just disgusted, to be honest with you. And it's not the first time that we've seen Tussle in this situation. Back in 2017, you were in here in relation to foster care and all the issues there. They do not accept that there was no way or no... There has to be some way that you could have intervened in those situations. What if we were here today talking about the death of children <coughs> due to the fact that they couldn't escape a fire because the shutters were closed and all the cots were crushed in together? What would you say to parents in that situation? And we rely on the Department of Children and Youth Affairs to be the watchdog of Tusla. In your opening statement in the first paragraph, you say that yet they have your full support. No even questions asked. This is why we're in this situation time and time again in this country where there's some crisis and some tragedy and everyone throws their hands up and says it's terrible. But the same thing keeps happening because nobody is ever held to account or held responsible for these things. If you take it so seriously, have you met with those families in the last week? What communication has gone on with them since all of this happened? Can I just say, since the Primetime programme, we've had contact from 257 parents across the country. Um, have you contacted them, sorry, or have they contacted you? They have contacted us. Okay, what contact have you had with the parents affected by the creches well, in the programme last what week? What we have done is we've responded to all contact that we've got in relation to the Have parents. you contacted parents directly in relation to We don't have the those... names of the parents that are in the services. And it's our job here to represent those parents and those children. Yeah. You know, they're the, they're the only voice that they have because they can't get direct answers from yourselves. So, like... Well, I would... We are giving direct answers in that we have... But that's not, that's not what people are saying to us. We've been, okay. I've been inundated no, and I from hear parents. You. Absolutely. And none of them are even in my constituency, and okay. yet they're reaching out because they are trying to get information. OK. But I would but say, in addition to... Have, they're sending us even in questions, saying, can you please yeah. try to get the answers? Okay. When is someone going to talk to us? When are we going to be communicated? What happens if the branch just closes? What do we do for alternative childcare?